Airbus is a global leader in aeronautics, space, and related services. In 2017, it generated revenues of 49 billion euros and employed a workforce of around 129,000. Airbus offers the most comprehensive range of passenger airlines, from 100 to more than 600 seats. Airbus is also a European leader, providing tanker, combat, transport, and mission aircraft, as well as one of the world's leading space companies. In helicopters, Airbus provides the most efficient civil and military rotorcraft solutions worldwide. Welcome to a regular day in Airbus. Okay, hello, my name is Jesus Barrera. I'm Andrea Grande. And welcome to this virtual tour. Uh, we are going to know Airbus in a very special way. Airbus is the leader in the defense and aerospace sector in Spain, and we can find uh, all facilities of Airbus Commercial, Airbus Defense and Space, and Airbus Helicopters. Airbus is a company that I consider that you can grow up with, since with the family days, since we were little, we can uh, show our passion for the aerospace field. Also, with the, when I was in the bachelor, with some programs such as the seedbed program yes. to improve my soft and business skills. So. And what is your experience as Airbus employee? Well, my experience is really great. I joined this company thanks to MASI, the Master System Integration uh, properly from, from Airbus. And now I'm working for the for, uh, A400M aircraft. Wow. Yes, I have a similar experience. I started in the Airbus Mine program. It's a program in collaboration with the Fundación Universidad de Empresa. Uh, and now I'm working in the Structural Dynamic and RSC department, thanks to all the things that I have learned in the Airbus Mine program. So it's a quite experience, a very nice experience. Mm -hmm. So now we are going to see a regular day in Airbus that I hope that you enjoy. We are going to see different innovation areas. Yes. Um, yes, and we are going to talk with different person on, in the company. We are going to see also the Airbus Mine program, talking with the students, and a lot of things more. So, enjoy the experience. <laughs> we are in Yescat, the, the composite center of Yescat and it is a world leader in the manufacturer of composite aeronautical component. We are going to discover the history of this plant with the head of Teresa, the head of this plant. Hello, Hello Teresa. Hello, guys, how are you? Very well. Everything okay? Everything. The technology is very important in, in this facility. We are at the level of the highest technology in the world, but also what is important for us is the people. We have a lot of young people, a lot of skilled people, not only for uh, engineers, also for uh, people is working in the show floor. And um, what is relevant for the plan is the diversity. So 50% of the head of um, production lines and head of support functions, engineering, manufacturing engineering, quality, logistic, uh, uh, everything, 50% are women. So our um, our chance here, our uh, success, is that we have a lot of diversity managing also the plant. Um, also, we care about our employees. We have a kindergarten in the plant. Also, we have um, uh, a lot of people working in digitalization. Uh, the next step for this plant, that is, is one of the highest plants at a technological level, is working in digitalization. So we have now um, uh, people working in 3D printing, in the, how the machines can work uh, in a very intelligent way. I think we are at the top level in the plant and we want it to be in the future a uh, highest top level in the, all the, the Airbus uh, plants and also in the, in the normal industrial areas here in Spain. All the aircraft for, of Airbus has a, manufacturer, a composite component that is manufactured here in Ijescas. It is a high level center with a high technolo uh, technological machine and with innovation in every part of the factory. Uh, 
area of the aircraft A350. And now we're going to meet Juan Saluga, responsible of this production area. And he's going to explain us the uh, technology and dynamic method that he uses day to day. Uh -huh. So, first of all, uh, welcome to Yes Kazakhstan. Uh, we are here focusing on continuous improvement. And for that reason, we developed several tools. One of the main ones is called APT, Autonomous Production Team. And basically, it's focused in customer satisfaction and improvement process. For that reason, uh, we have daily meetings with all the support functions for secure the satisfaction of our customers. Uh, mainly, what we are doing is we meet together with a standard agenda with all the support functions uh, to ensure that we have much of our uh, desviation and we improve our process. Uh, here you can see some of our people that all of them uh, belong to different departments and they are collaborating together to improve our process. The main target of them is not only to secure the standard process but also to reduce the non-quality cost and reduce the cost of the product. This is a very engagement project where people not only uh, increase their communication but also make uh, uh, a strong community focus in the improvement. Okay, uh, thank you Juan for all the information provided. It's uh, surprising how you can improve uh, methodologies with this type of technique. So now, uh, Jesus, let's go to another side of the company. Now we are going to meet Miguel. Miguel uh, was part of the Minds program. Uh, he was uh, a student and internship here in Ijescas. So she's going to explain us more about the 3D printing methodologies. Nice. So right now I'm going to present you the, our last purchase. This is the 3D printer that we are going to use to manufacture the gaskets. That is a part of the plane that will be right now introduced in the, in the, in the aircraft. <laughs> and here it is. Well, this is an, a gasket. Yeah. A manhole, a person could enter here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this is one of the gaskets that, that is in all the plane. Yeah. And right now it's, it, they are manufactured with fiberglass but the five last of them, the ones that are here in the tip, uh, are going to be manufactured with 3D printing technology. Um, Miguel, you came here with a MINDS program internship, so that is was thanks to the Fundación Universidad de Empresa. How was your experience? Uh, what did you enjoy the most? This position and all the things that I learned in the FUE and also in the AOE with the, with the MINDS allow me to complete all this internship and right now I'm here. I'm, I'm working here in Airbus after my internship, so it's great. Let's go to see a paperless project. In the past we had a lot of problems organizing all the information, all the documents, all the papers. For this reason, Gabriel is going to tell us this innovative project called Maintenance QR Codes. Hello, Gabriel. Hello, Jesus. Could you Hello, tell Andrea. us a little about this project? Yes, of course. So, imagine how difficult it is to manage uh, more than uh, 5,000 industrial mines like this. We have uh, C, Mark, electrical drawing, pneumatic drawing, maintenance manual, a lot of things, a lot of documents to check. So we are developing a new system in order to have the right documents in the right place and uh, in real time. So what we need to develop this? Only a chip, a sticker, not more than uh, two cents, yes. and a tablet PC or maybe a mobile phone. So you only need to take a picture of the, of the sticker and the system will recognize automatically the document that we want to see. 
So then you only need to say open and you will have the last version of the document. Wow. So all these, oh, mostly 70% of our industrial means are prototypes and we have a lot of different version, a lot of release and with this system we are able to have the last version of each document in each plate and for the technical staff in, on the soft floor it's uh, nice to not lose a lot of time to check if we are in the right document is the last version of yes. this sorry so it's so you have increased the, the efficiency of the process no? yes the scope of this project is imagine that we have more than 20,000 work orders per year so if we are able to save only one minute in order to avoid uh, uh, check where is the document, we are saving more than 20,000 minutes per year, so it's a, it's a, lot, it's a lot. great project. Okay, Gabriel, thank yeah. you so much for all this information. You're welcome, it's a pleasure for me. Nice to meet See you. you. Without any doubt, I would suggest to come here to our bus, even in Yescas, and appreciate all the high-level technology that we can appreciate in this a factory is uh, something that you can start your professional career and you can grow up professionally like a person, feel part of a team, develop new techniques to improve the production. Yes, I totally agree because we have everything. We have the technology, the innovation, and we have the teamwork. Important in the people and this is a very important value in this, in this plant. Now we are going to take a first part with Fernando Alonso, uh, president of Airbus Spain, and also uh, head of uh, Airbus Military Aircraft. It is an amazing experience, don't you think so? I think that this is also a great opportunity yes. for us to directly ask him about the feedback of the company, where are we going, innovation fields, and well, we'll see what he's going to tell us. because flight testing is about taking the airplanes to the limits and even beyond the limits to see what happens beyond the limit. So uh, you need to identify what are the limits of the airplane and see what happens behind it to see is it a cliff or is it the gentle slope or what is it? Because depending on how the behavior, how the airplane or the systems behave beyond the limits, then you have to put margins versus those limits so that pilots and passengers will never ever get to those limits. Uh, we work in an international environment with a great diversity of talents. How do, you think that, how do you think that this diversity is helping us to be a more competitive company, a better company in the industry? Uh, it's obvious. I mean, when, when you're working with everybody who has been brought up in the same schools, in the same language, in the same everything, it's boring. I mean, you're all the same. We're all the same. So I think the, the fact of mixing with people who come from very different backgrounds, very different educations, very different schooling systems, uh, that, is, that is a huge, a massive richness that we have in this company. And I really hope you value that because it's quite unique uh, to, to be in a company who has, who has such diversity. I think in Airbus total, I think there's more than 130 nationalities. So for me, that is, is so incredibly rich and um, as I say, you, you, learn from, you learn a lot from people who are very different from you. And uh, not only do you learn things, but you learn how they do things, uh, what are their values, uh, what is important for them, how you need to respect them, even if they're different from you. So it's, uh, it's a massive, it's a massive uh, knowledge uh, that you're learning from them. And you as persons, uh, it is a, uh, an extremely rich experience for you. So I really hope you enjoy that. I really hope you take value of that. And, uh, don't think about what am I going to be in 20 years, it doesn't matter, wait, I mean, there's so many opportunities in this company. I mean, there's, there's few companies we, have, we, have, we can offer you so many opportunities and Airbus is quite unique in that. Uh, in, in the technology, in the innovation that we're trying to do, in the products that we build or that we will be building, in the people that are with you. So just, just concentrate on that, enjoy it and, and give us all that freshness and all that, uh, all that youth that you bring with us because as I said at the beginning, you, you know, you're going to be the drivers of change for us. So we count on you. 
because in our technological company, uh, digitalization happens every day. We every day are more digitalized than the day before. But the difference here is that now we know that we need to speed up. So we put dedicated people that understand the technology to help us speed up. So you, you come out of the university, you have completely forgot what you, what you studied and where you put so many hours of effort. And uh, on top of that, you have no clue of what is going on in the company. You have no clue of uh, when you join a, an organization or when you join a group of people, uh, what it is important, uh, what do you need to, uh, to do to interact with them in an effective way, um, what are the things that you need to look at uh, in order to integrate into that company as fast as possible. Um, and I think that this is what this program is trying to, to do, is to bridge the gap between what you basically have learned from the technical side, if you, if you want to call it like that, and also what you're going to need to be equipped in order to be successful in your professional life. <laughs> plan where the horizontal stabilizer is produced so uh, yes and we are going to meet to Jesus Lopez Medina he's the head of the head of the plan hi how are you hi, Jesus. good to see you nice to meet you welcome to the plan welcome thank you thank you so we come together yes I have a question Jesus yes. um, how do you promote the integration the internship in the production area well uh, this is one of our uh, big axes of action uh, during last years uh, Getafe Plan has a strong investment in diversification, diversity not only through the functions by working in multifunctional team and breaking the silos, but as well breaking the generational barriers. And in, in the end, it's just bringing you to reality because the next generation will be in the shop floor working together, irrespective if they are young graduates, senior graduates, engineers, or uh, mechanics, uh, mechanics and electrics. Uh, so uh, the best thing we do is to put all of them together to confront real cases, real operational cases, because the future will mix generation. The future we are working is not like the one we have lived and the one we have in touch. So we need the young uh, internships to work together with the shop floor to live what they will design, what you will be working when you're talking about the mass properties in the real assembly world of the aircraft. So this is, uh, this is the way we try to put them into the future reality of Airbus. management panel. Every working day starts here and we revise all the indicators of the production from the last day but also we prepare the planning and all the production for the next day. So here we can see that there are different indicators that are cost, deviation, delivery but also in production we have to take into account the people and safety that are really important for us here if we really want to make planes. We are concluding this video tour. I hope that you enjoyed this experience sharing a regular Airbus day with us. Yes, we have known the company with very different perspectives and we are really convinced that Airbus is a perfect company to develop yourself. Yeah, to develop yourself in the innovative area. Also, we have seen production areas. Also, we have served great moments with the president of the company. Yes, and all in the international environment with a great diversity of talent and with a very important cultural value. So, that's all for our side. Thank you so much. Bye.